is uh, Ross Sherwood. I'm a uh, airline pilot and lead consultant here with Air Cadet International. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for joining us today for this very short video about our new program. We're very excited about this program. It's been running for about a year now. We're still considering new compared to a lot of programs we've been running since 2012. So this program has been implemented in 2019 and it's called Full Professional Airline Pilot Program for Indian Students. So today I want to tell you why the program is so unique and why you should absolutely consider it uh, before you go anywhere else to fly training. At Air Cadet International, we do our best together with our partners to ensure that you, our students, get the best, the most comprehensive, and the most integrated programs, which include flight training and internship, and also airline placement with your target airlines. Today I want to talk to you about one of those programs and I want to ensure that you understand all the aspects of that program. Now, first of all, the program is designed specifically for Indian cadets, and it's uh, designed in conjunction with uh, our great partner, Hercules Aviation in India. Uh, Hercules Aviation has a lot of experience working with students, and they also conduct ground school, DGCA ground school, to ensure that students, after completion of flight training, are able to quickly and officially convert their license from the uh, ICAO, which is the CAA, which is Transport Canada format, to uh, DGCA, which is India format. And that's, uh, that's going to be the first uh, phase of your program. Also, a very important part of what Hercules Aviation is doing is uh, preparing your documents for processing for visa by the Canadian Consulate. Why is this program so different from anything else? Well, first of all, this program is integrated, which means that it integrates flight training and internship, as well as employment placement, all in one go. And secondly, it addresses the, the most important issue that students have um, after graduating. Their flight experience, their aeronautical experience, the licenses are not sufficient to be employed by an airline, their target airlines. Uh, for example, most airlines require to have at least 1,500 hours of flight time, a full unrestricted ATPL, and at least 500 to 1,000 hours of jet experience. You don't get this experience in a flight school. All you get at flight school is 200, 250 hours and some propeller time with a CPL, commercial pilot license. Nobody really needs that. It's really, really hard to get employment with those credentials. So our program addresses that issue, which is the biggest issue, as I said before that. If you don't address this issue that early, you might end up unemployed, sitting at home after spending 55, 60, maybe even $70,000 in your flight training and your commercial pilot license and not seeing one job offer for years to come. Now, our program ensures that that doesn't happen to you. So how do we do this? Well, let's talk about the phases of the program and how they work. All right, folks, so let's go through this program phase by phase, ensure that we got a good understanding of what's going on and how it works. So the first phase of the program is, of course, enrollment. Want to make sure you guys uh, get through all the enrollment requirements and set you out for success. Uh, the enrollment process starts in India and it's undertaken uh, partially by our company, which is Air Cadet in the United States, and partially by Hercules Aviation in Hyderabad. Uh, the enrollment process consists of taking a short pilot aptitude exam, and it's just for your protection. We want to make sure that you guys score at least average. If you score below average, it is by no means, uh, it doesn't mean that you get rejected for enrollment. It just means you may need to have more finances to uh, finish the program. Um, because you may require additional training. Now, it's, it's not a guarantee, of course, you'll need that, but we do have to let you know it is just our responsibility for your protection. Um, second thing, we need to make sure that you have the correct documents for enrollment. We require um, at least your certificate of secondary education, which is your O levels uh, from India. We want to make sure that you pass um, English academic test. Uh, we require ILTS academic with a score of 6.0 or higher. And we also make sure you have obviously the financial ability and uh, your uh, passport. Now, those of you who have issues with uh, financial ability, uh, we have a special program called SLAS, and it's a special support package that will allow you to obtain student loan a lot faster, a lot more efficient, and you'll be able to uh, uh, visit our website and check it out, make sure that um, you can use that for your benefit. I invite you to go to our website and look over what exactly this package does, what it consists of, and uh, how to get it. Another important part of the uh, first phase is, of course, the ground school. You're going to go through a DGCA ground school to ensure that you pass all your exams, and you'll be ready for 
uh, CAA, which is a transfer candle license, to the DGCA license conversion on time once you finish with your uh, flight training phase in Canada. Once everything's done, uh, we're going to send out your uh, documents for approval for the Canadian Consulate Student Permit, which is like Canadian visa. Once that's approved, you'll be uh, ready to go to Canada and start phase two. All right, let's talk about phase two of the program. Um, phase two is arrival in Canada and do your flight training with Canadian Flight Academy in Oshawa. It's about 50 minutes from Toronto. It's a great place, it's been operating since 1963. It has a big fleet of aircraft, its own maintenance hangar, and uh, really great facilities. It's a beautiful location. It's also about an hour and a half drive uh, from uh, Buffalo, New York. So those who want to, want to visit the United States during your stay in Canada, you can certainly do so, just drive all across the border. Canadian Flight Academy trains students whole year around. The whole thing should take, as I said, about 18 months. Once you're done with that, you'll advance to phase three. All right, guys, let's talk about phase three. Phase three is basically working as a flight instructor. So if you meet all the terms and conditions that I outline on our website, I invite you to go and check them out and make sure that you understand um, what the terms and conditions are and working for up to 18 months. Now, why is it important? It's important because um, it is your first aviation job experience. It's your first professional aviation job. And secondly, you'll be able to start building this valuable flight time. One of the most important things that airlines are looking for is the flight time. And you'll be able to get that flight time during this period. 18 months is enough to get about 1,500 hours of flight time because you're going to finish with about 230 hours and you'll fly about 80 hours a month during the period of 18 months to get a 1,500 hours. Once you finish that, you will be able to qualify for the full unrestricted ATPL under the Transport Canada, and also you'll be able to start phase four, which is the phase we'll talk about shortly. All right, folks, what is phase four? Phase four is for you to go ahead and take the Canadian Transport Canada ATPL exam. This is a very important phase because every airline wants to see a pilot with a full unrestricted ICAO or ATPL. Once you take the exam and get your Canadian ATPL, you'll be able to convert it into Indian ATPL because you already have ground school laid down for that conversion. So it's a very it's going to be a very simple and very fast process. It should take just a couple of weeks and you're done. Hercules Aviation will undertake your conversion process. Once you're done with that, you'll be able to advance to phase 5A. Folks, what is 5A? 5A is basically you have options. Um, that's why we have 5A and 5B. 5A is one of the options you'll have after completion of flight training and internship, you'll have an option of applying, if you like, for the Canadian permanent residency with the um, Canadian Experience class. Canadian Experience class is a special program that's run by the Canadian government that allows uh, students that graduate, graduated a full integrated course of flight training in Canada and work for at least 12 months on full-time employment, which is uh, the phase uh, three, um, to apply for permanent residency. Now, that application only takes about six months, and of course, but by the time you start that process, you would have met all the requirements of the program. While you're waiting for it, you can continue work as a flight instructor for an additional six months. So it's 18 months total. You'll also get a uh, employment permit, which you can use to get employment with pretty much any airline or aviation charter operation in Canada. <clears throat> Using those documents, 5A is basically your initial airline experience and original airlines in Canada, working as a first officer and flying uh, light regional aircraft such as CRJ 200, 700, 900, uh, normally for jazz or um, any kind of regional Air Canada operation. Of course, you'll have to pass the interview and all those things are subject to approval by the government. Now, let's say if something doesn't work out, you're unable to get any of that, or maybe perhaps you didn't reach, uh, you didn't uh, meet terms and conditions out on our website, uh, what do you do? Well, we have um, uh, option 5B. We're going to talk about it in a second. All right, folks, what is 5B? 5B is an option for those who are unable to get employment in Canada's airline pilots uh, to get the initial jet experience. Uh, we actually have a safety net option, uh, which is uh, provided by Global Air in Hong Kong. And uh, this option allows students to work as ferry pilots and ferry aircraft is basically repositioning aircraft across the world. You can do this option for up to 18 to 24 months and it's going to give you a great, very valuable experience flying transatlantic, transpacific routes 
on light propeller aircraft. <clears throat> of course, it's not an ideal option, and that's why we really want you to qualify for option 5A. But for those who do not qualify for any reasons, this safety option will give you the opportunity to build great experience and get more flight time flying um, light piston and turboprop aircraft for additional 18 to 24 months. During that time, Global Air will help you look for permanent employment with the regional carriers in Asia or Middle East while you're working. And that brings us to phase uh, six. Okay, so what is phase six? Phase six is basically getting your DGCA ATPL. So you'll be able to come back to India and get your full unrestricted DGCA Indian Aviation Authority ATP um, and um, have a shot at many, many employment options in India. Now, at this time, Hercules Aviation will help you with the employment placement with leading your allies in India, will assist you with getting the desired employment in India, if you want to work in India, of course. Uh, but we consider it a very important option, and it's extremely, extremely important to understand that having multiple licenses, such as Canadian license and Indian license, is a great advantage in your aviation career because the spectrum of your employment options uh, will widen dramatically. Another option you have is uh, phase seven, which is uh, permanent airline employment. Let's talk about that. At phase seven, permanent airline employment is actually uh, provided by Wright Aerospace Group, which is Air Canada in the United States. And uh, what we do is we ensure that you guys qualify to work in best airlines um, in the Middle East and Asia. And we're talking about such great carriers as uh, Emirates, Cathay Pacific, um, Qatar, Etihad, et cetera, et cetera. There's, there are many, many airlines um, that are hiring contract pilots. And by that time, you should have enough experience to get pretty much any job you want with any of this contract. And it will be our job to ensure you have successful employment placement in your target airline. That's the, that's the goal. Um, during the time, we'll advise on the interviews, uh, we'll help you with the interview process, and we, of course, we'll guide you through the application processes uh, for the airlines of your choice in the region of your choice. All right, folks, uh, by the time you finish the program, you should have about 2,500 hours of flight time, you should have about 1,000 hours on jet, you'll have full ATP from Canada, full ATP from India, and uh, you will have amazing aviation experience with uh, reference letters from your previous employers, from us, from Hercules Aviation. You'll have an amazing, uh, very competitive resume and aviation experience by the time you're done with the program. To find out more about this program, please go ahead and visit our website. Our website is ericaned.com. The link to this program you can see below. And uh, if you have any questions, please email me personally at rasaericaned.com. I'll be able to answer all your questions and address all your concerns. Thank you so much for joining us today and uh, have a great day. Safe skies.